Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com, out here for another gear review, and today I'm talking about sharp pointy things, this guy right here, which is the Midnight Creeper Mark IV by Black Triangle Group. We'll go ahead and start with the who and the what. So Black Triangle Group, small company based out of Virginia, I believe, or by Virginia Beach, and with that, what does the name entail? Well, World War II, the Nazis, basically marking everyone they would bring into concentration camps, marked people with triangles. Those that were gypsies, thieves, ruffians, basically anyone they felt were kind of dangerous and uncontrollable. So kind of the namesake of Black Triangle Group. And they end up making non-metallic knives. We'll use that word loosely because not a lot of cutting done with them typically. But they end up making non-metallic defensive tools like this right here which is the mark IV midnight creeper mark IV being i believe their fourth iteration and some kind of unique things as a departure from kind of the rest of their line one of the biggest differences with the mark IV versus kind of some of the other models is the handle design so you have basically this flared pommel and these intentions right here which allow from either side to basically come grasp hook the finger and makes it really easy to draw out and then after that you can thumb over if you need to power assist whatever it may be and then of course you have a wrapped g10 blade and your non-metallic sheath basically kind of taco style and then right here is your belt clip and with that it is retained with some kind of like shot cord so again nothing on this is metallic at all so in use, how is it carried? Well, it's basically a clip to go on your belt. So personally, I carry it other strong side over non-dominant side, and it allows me to access it there with that non-dominant hand or come across and grab it with my dominant hand either way. You can, of course, carry it pretty much wherever. Me personally, basically spread tools out because also end up running this guy over on strong side so options at the end of the day right how did i end up coming to this midnight creeper mark IV? well originally saw a post on it over my buddy's site jerking the trigger and what originally drew me to it actually was the handle design i saw it i'm like that makes a lot of sense so you can basically access it with either hand like assisting in the draw stroke i'm like that's pretty clever and the other part about it was twofold price point and the option for a trainer so I triggered a ton of people when I ended up making a video about the I think Amtag Magnus and I was talking about hey if you have like a fighting knife but there's no option for a trainer like ah, you probably have a truck stop knife sorry not sorry at the end of the day you need something to be able to train with and you're like I'm gonna just take a wooden dowel cool like if that works go for it but it's also nice to have something that draws from the same type of sheath or the same sheath, like all those things that you can actually train with. And these guys over at Black Triangle Group offer trainers for pretty much all their blades. And all of this ended up dovetailing with a conversation I had with a friend who she doesn't carry a pistol. Or if she does, it's really, really limited. And here's the thing, it's really hard to get women to carry pistols because lots of times they just wear yoga pants and they're like, I can't carry this in my yoga pants. And they're not gonna stop wearing yoga pants, which is probably a good thing on a certain level. But having that conversation, like maybe there's no victims, only volunteers, maybe you should take some personal responsibility and figure out some meaningful way to defend yourself. So that led us to this guy right here, Midnight Creeper, because with very little kind of input with respect to training and stuff like that, massive increase in capability. And so one evening we ended up going and I was like, okay, here, listen, this is, this is what we're going to work through. We're just going to start getting reps on Bob, basically the training dummy. And it's like, we need to feed this assailant, basically a palm strike to the face, 
and we're gonna draw this out and we're gonna stab them. Hey, get off me, boom. Pretty straightforward, right? And so in a very short period of time, took someone with like zero practical ability, skill-wise, as far as defensive anything, really. And it's like, okay, like, now, when you have this in your hand, like, I have to respect you, no matter how big and strong I am. Because sharp things, like, nope, I will respect that. And basically, that learning curve is honestly really, really short from getting someone with arguably no skill to the point where it's like, okay, like, I'd rather you not stab me. Like, I, w I will absolutely respect you when you have that tool in your hand. And granted, this isn't like, oh, cool, two hours later, done, forever. Like, no. It's basically that initial foray into training, which ideally goes on forever, but that initial on-ramp with respect to skill and ability, incredibly short. Being able to basically use a trainer and then turn around and use one of these guys versus like, hey, I expect you to change your entire lifestyle and carry a pistol. Like, much easier solution for, honestly, anyone to include women. I will say, did this work turnkey for that for her? It did not. I ended up actually modifying both the real, like, live blade, as well as the training, well, not the blades, but modified the sheaths for both, the live blade as well as the training blade, and put, I believe, discrete carry clips, I think that's right, which basically have, like, a cloth grabber, because this, while totally non-metallic, not gonna get jammed up with, like, a metal detector, probably. That's awesome. But what she needed in her use case was something that she could put on yoga pants and go run around and do life. And this clip on here will not work for that. It'll do a pretty good job. Like you can hook it on your belt, but will not work on yoga pants. So ended up actually swapping out the clips. It was now ma magnetic. So if you get wanted or something, but worked very well to that purpose. And speaking of the non-magnetic properties of this guy, I was in Las Vegas 2022 for SHOT Show and ended up going to the Black Sight Ball where I actually met the owner of Black Triangle Group and had a cool conversation, really cool guy. And yeah, I think what they do is pretty neat. And then, of all things, ended up leaving there, went to this like event experience we'll say not a strip club and ended up going there and getting wanded like as we're going into this thing we got to get wanded and I was like oof and yeah sure enough did not come up they did not want any weapons of any type which I'm like kind of a bold statement you're basically taking personal responsibility for my personal safety by attempting to disarm me which I did not get disarmed because yeah non-magnetic pretty cool and no didn't have to stab anyone there but if i did i mean at the end of the day this is decidedly a stabbing tool probably not going to cut too much with it but yeah no one wants to get stabbed and to that end the basically the scenario like the usefulness of this is fairly narrow considering like the utility built into a knife two different things right like yeah i can stab with this i can also cut with this amtac northman also has a fire sheath i can start fires also has a little place on the sheath with velcro keep like lock pick set like all kinds of things it is also magnetic it is also like decidedly a knife and it is significantly more expensive than one of these guys but they both stab. And so kind of two different tools for two different jobs. Well, kind of, there's overlap, but they are decidedly different. This for a straight up like defensive tool though, really, really solid. Granted, not as much utility built in as a knife, but it's also not a knife and nowhere near with respect to cost either. 
And as a quick aside, I will say this guy here does not projectile very well. It's a little too light. Ah. Nailed it. <laughs> Overall, I think there's a lot of value to this Midnight Creeper Mark IV by Black Triangle Group. As I had mentioned, I really like the handle, it lends itself to basically drawing strong side, other strong side, and yeah, like a legit defensive tool that also offers a good training blade. So the training blade for this, exact same geometry as far as the handle, same sheath, blue material, and then when you draw it out, it's about half inch shorter and it's rounded. Still don't wanna go full speed, full power into someone, you will hurt someone, but it allows you to basically train on dummies without destroying them or on a partner without totally destroying your partner. And basically once you make contact with that being shorter and rounded, had you'd make contact with the live blade, you essentially would have already penetrated about a half inch. And this, it's not magic, but absolute increase with respect to capability and self-defense. I say it's not magic, just like a pistol is not magic. Having, being in possession of something does not equate to ability and skill. So there's absolutely training involved. Like having a pistol doesn't mean like, oh yeah, cool, like I'm good. Like, no, there's a lot of training involved. Training involved with this, but definitely a shorter on-ramp. As I showed you, basically, the ability to draw this thing out one-handed concealed and strike pretty short versus sub second draw in like 25 yard headshot like there's a lot more investment in time and training on that end than on this end doesn't mean i'm not going to carry a pistol nope absolutely not definitely still going to carry a pistol still going to carry a blade because there's utility in a blade, like metal blade blade, that isn't in this. But this is just another tool and basically offering something different. Again, non-metallic, depending on where you're going and what you're doing. Overall, I think they're pretty cool. If you wanna find one directly through Black Triangle Group, or as I mentioned, through Tactical Distributors. Pretty solid overall. If you appreciate my content, want to support it, greatly appreciate it, whether it's liking and sharing videos or going over to kitbadger.com, picking up KBAT target pads, stickers, patches, things like that, or you can support me directly through Patreon. Greatly appreciate it. Helps me go out, create more content for you. And over on Patreon, you usually get early access to videos as well as some exclusive content and questions answered. Happy to answer them over there through DM or we have active Discord. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.